Hello, my dear friends. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, I have a few holiday candles for you today, um, and they are from Huntington Home, which many of you may know as Aldi, which is um, a German grocery retailer. They're kind of a discount retailer, and probably many of you don't need any kind of introduction to Aldi. Um, so Aldi has a lot of holiday contributions um, across the board, gifts, whatnot. And as many of you know, they also do a brisk business in candles and they tend to knock off um, much more expensive or established candles in terms of packaging, um, scent presentation, um, scents in general, um, etc., which is what Aldi does across the board, even for their food products as well. So very much within their particular culture. Um, so today I have some holiday candles that are super special. They are in these um, uh, magnetic boxes um, and they are a set of three macaron, which is um, like a French cookie and they look a little like large French cookies. And for those of you who are um, familiar, in this case, they are knocking off the candle company Veluspa, which I really love Veluspa. And I did bring along some actual Veluspa candles. So Veluspa does a lot of packaging. They do tins, they do glass, um, and their minis, which are 1.8 ounce, they do in these um, glass, um, receptacles I don't know quite what to call them um, as you can see they're really gorgeous um, so I've got this one this one here's another one right here um, and Veluspa decided hey we could package these um, as a set and what do you know they look a little bit like large French macarons so that's what we're going to do and so they made and as, at first they made various different sets of um, uh, similar scents. So I think they did like rose macaron at a certain point and they were all shades of, or scents of um, rose. Um, and they've done various other more gourmand situations. So um, Aldi has been duping these particular macarons for a bit and they have some special holiday contributions. So I picked up the three that they had here. The first one here has um, snowy bayberry, spiced cedar, and hot buttered rum. And if you look, they're like packaged super sweet. And as you can see, they are mimicking the um, Veluspa look here. The difference being that these are a little simpler than these are, and they don't have the rubber piece around. So these have a rubber piece that, um, is more of a safety thing. They're not gonna come apart unless you are a little bit more thoughtful about it. Um, these are gonna slide out. So they've saved some money here with the rubber piece. Um, and I have to say that most of these candles also have like um, labels that are a little bit <laughs> um, funky. Some of them are centered, some of them aren't. Again, that's part of the like budget mystique. Um, but the price difference in these is huge. So um, for Veluspa, these particular candles, these 1.8 ounce in these glass vessels um, run about $16 a piece. Um, whereas at all these, all three of these within the package are $7.99. So <laughs> you are getting all three and the package for half of the price of one for Veluspa. So let me continue um, the scents here. This one, it's a beautiful box that has like some ornaments on it. We've got snowy bayberry, spiced cedar, and hot buttered rum. Um, I have another one here, and this has kind of like a Christmas tree decor. This one is spiced currant, hearthside holidays, and peppermint bark. You can kind of see that there. And then we've got a last one here with um, a snowflake decor. Um, and this one is pine cones and citrus, mulled wine and sweet vanilla. And that's what that looks like as well. So as you can tell, even the packaging itself is really gorgeous. These make amazing gifts. 
Um, I'm gonna run down the scents really fast and then I'll talk about the pros and cons of these particular candles. So I'm gonna start out here with um, Snowy Bayberry, Spiced Cider, and Hot Buttered Rum. And the candles look a little like this. So um, they're like color coordinated a little bit too. Here is Hot Buttered Rum, which you would expect from kind of like a nice yellow. And um, you're definitely picking up a lot of vanilla in this particular um, scent and some caramel as well. Caramel, vanilla, I'm not getting a whole lot of booziness, um, but it's a fairly sophisticated fragrance. I like it. Um, that's hot buttered rum. We have spice cider, which looks like this. And spice cider is apple forward, it's spice forward. It also has a little bit of vanilla, caramel, amber right underneath it, spice cider. And then this is my favorite of the three. This is Snowy Bayberry. Snowy Bayberry is the most sophisticated of these three. And if you're at all familiar with the Halloween offerings from Kringle, to be honest, this smells like a really pleasant and sweet version of one of their Halloween candles because I'm picking up a lot of musk. Um, Dried berries, which would make sense for the snowy bayberry, but it's a dried. Dried berries, clove, musk, almost a little patchouli reminiscent, but I don't think it has patchouli in it for those of you who are worried about that. Super sophisticated and a fairly robust scent. With all of these, they're a little on the faded um, smelling, even just smelling them cold, to be honest. So I am not gonna anticipate that these are big throwers at all. And to be perfectly honest, the Voluspas, which is what they're duping, Voluspa tends to not have very good strength or throw either. Um, the strength for Voluspa is the packaging and the sophistication in terms of the blended scents. And so Aldi is definitely making sure that they've got the sophistication, most of these scents are, and they've got an amazing packaging. Do not expect a huge amount of throw. Um, second one here is, this is our Christmas tree motif, spiced currant, hearthside holidays, and peppermint bark. So peppermint bark, weirdly, is the gray. And it's fine. This actually is a dupe of Voluspa scent as well. So this is peppermint bark, um, and I actually brought it with me. Voluspa has a really great seller for Christmas. By the way, how amazing is this? Like I said, Voluspa has the packaging nailed. So they're, one of their biggest Christmas offerings is a scent called Crushed Candy Cane. Um, and yeah, this is definitely what um, Ollie is trying to do here with peppermint bark. Um, and the main scent notes here for the Voluspa are Crushed Candy Cane and white chocolate actually. And I don't even know if they mention white chocolate in the notes. It may be vanilla or something like that. I think they even say something about like freshly baked cookies. But when you smell this, it's a very sharp and very fresh white chocolate and crushed candy cane. And I do not even like candy or white chocolate. As fresh and clean as you can think a white chocolate would be, that's what this is. Um, and it's a little sharper and brighter than the Aldi one, which is the dupe, but the dupe is definitely there too. I would say a little bit more white chocolate here um, than in the crushed candy cane um, for Voluspa. Then they have Hearthside Holidays and it's yellow. Now Hearthside Holidays is very similar to the Bay Berry one that I just talked about. So once again, you've got that like kind of Kringle musky kind of scent. Whereas the other one leaned a little bit more dry berries. This one leans a little bit woodier and a little bit amber-like. Really nice, but actually a little bit more faint than the Bayberry. And then lastly, we've got here Spiced Currant, which is a beautiful red color. Spiced Currant is the most robust of these three. And it's a fairly traditional berry forward dark fruit, maybe some plum, maybe some cranberry. Um, I think actually on the back, yes, they actually give some like Bath and Body Works frou-frou. This is not solid scent notes so much as like some sort of conceptual poetic take. So Spice Current, 
a festive melody, medley of luscious black currant and sweet pomegranate. So that's sort of pomegranate. Splashed over sugared plum fruit. There you go. The seeded fruits, the or the nuts. Warm spice and aromatic cinnamon stick. Soft again, soft, but um, it's there. And then the very last one here is the snowflake motif. And once again, you've got that amazing like magnetic box. And look at these, folks. These are frosted. Look how cute they are. It's like a matte frost. Look at that color combo. That is just stunning. Okay, so the whereas the other ones were just straight up glass. These are like a brushed, suede kind of glass. All right, so we've got sweet vanilla. And sweet vanilla smells like vanilla. Um, I do have to say that it is not overly sweet, which is a minor coup in and of itself because um, vanilla candles tend to run super, super um, sweet. Um, and hold on, let me turn my light on here. I don't know why it went off. And then we also have mulled wine. Looks just so. Mulled wine. Very spicy, but very warm and very soft. A lot of clove, a little bit of orange, maybe a little bit of dried orange. And then last but not least, we've got this beautiful green, pine cones and citrus. Um, so this is kind of a soft cologne scent, and I mean very soft. So it's not like a super sharp, like Axe body spray, or even like um, the really like hipster, men's cologne kind of smells that we've had with a lot of leather and cedar and whatever whatnot but it is it does lean a little bit cologne so it's like a spicy musk and it does have a little bit of cypress in it behind it but i would say that it's less cypress forward as like spicy musk which is what makes it feel a little bit cologne-y okay so those are the three contributions here. They're all $7.99. They may even be less if they're on discount at Aldi at this point. Um, and if you've got them, definitely check them out. For those of you who are candle connoisseurs, th these are not the kind of candles that you're going to want to scoop up for candle reasons necessarily. But they are great for... Um, for, for presentation, they look amazing in your house. And if you need some sort of like gift for the holidays, you're going to somebody's house, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, these are fantastic because for $8, you can pick up a beautiful looking gift and these very expensive looking candles. And they're meant, like I said, to mock up um, the Voluspa, which is super expensive. Look at that. I mean, just super gorgeous. So you could definitely have them for your own house. You could put them maybe um, as a centerpiece on your dining room table, like something like that. Um, and just don't expect a whole lot of scent out of them. <laughs> um, ditto for gifting them, and I really highly recommend it. Um, all these does not sell these online. Um, so you're gonna have to go into the store and just kind of be at the mercy of what the selection is there. I actually bought these off of Instacart. So for those of you who are aware, Instacart is like a grocery delivery service. I was super stressed and whatever else. And I'm like, I just need some Aldi stuff. And then I thought, hey, what kind of candles can I order? Because actually you can order more than groceries through Instacart. And these popped up and I just ordered the three that I found on Instacart. And obviously when you order these kinds of things, even from Instacart, there's no guarantee that it's actually in the store, but they were. My Instacart person brought me all three of them, which is fantastic. So um, I got these through Instacart and in the link below, I'm gonna go ahead and put that link for Instacart on there, just so that you can see the product notes, what it looks like, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but for most of you, you're gonna need to go to the store and see if these are there. But I really highly recommend them for gifts, etc. And definitely keep on your radar the Veluspa candles, which also have not a whole lot of strength and throw, <laughs> but are so fantastic in terms of packaging and the scents are just gorgeous. They're thoughtful, they're complex, they're nuanced, etc. Veluspa is actually one of my favorite candle companies for that. Um, thank you so much. I'm going to have a few more videos this week, so stay tuned.